okay? But if you've seen a fork in a road and you ain't go the way the ZZ is, I also interpret it as you've seen a fork in a road and you ain't go the way that's easiest. Double. So for quite some time, there's been a lot of speculation and assumptions about how money and finances and expenses and things of that sort work when it comes to the music industry, okay? I know a little bit about how it works when you sign with a label. So let's talk about business and the industry. So let's say for instance, okay, a label gives a rapper $300,000, right? Now that is what's known as an advance. So let's say this rapper get that big old packet with them small letters. He just signed every page without actually paying attention to what he signed. He didn't know that he signed a 15% deal, okay? You got 15% of all of your earnings. 20% is the best you'll get out of that equation. Some get 10, some even get five, but let's not even dive into the crevices of that. I'm gonna say 15%, you got kind of lucky, all right? So you got $300,000. That's known as an advance, okay? A lot of people get this confused with it actually being their own money. An advance is not your money. That is what's known as a loan. So this is what they're investing in you. So when they give you this $300,000, this is how they know they got you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go hit up Johnny Dane. You gotta go get you Richard Milley. You gotta get you 10 chains, two rollies on. That's good. That's well over 25K, but I'm gonna just be generous and say you spent 25K on clothes and jewelry. So that knocks that 300K down to 275,000. So you already know you gotta come SRT. <laughs> the wide body, you feel me? <laughs> it's gonna cost you at least 60,000, 70,000, but we gonna, hit, we gonna hit the lower number. Okay, I ain't about to be petty and say, oh, it's gonna cost you 70,000. It costs you 60,000 to get that Hellcat. It can't touch you. $300,000 investment. So far, you done knocked that 300,000 down to about 215. It's album time. That's when a lot of money's starting to go towards this, this album. About to hit up the studio for about a week, maybe a week and some change, which means you in there for about 11 days. 2,000 a session, you in one of the finest studios, and then you got the production on top of that. So 11, times 2,000 a session, that's 22K. Then you gotta pay for the production, the producers and things of that sort, that's 15K. I'm being generous with that number. So 15K plus 22K, that's 37K. So 37K minus 215,000, 178,000. When it comes to promoting the album, it gets fairly expensive. It chopped 50%. Uh, we put 89K into promoting that album, 89,000. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this in a perspective. 89,000 plus 37,000 is about 126,000 going into the album. So now you got 89,000 left to spend over. Go ahead and mess around with the, with the rest of the bread. After you bought your clothes, after you bought your Hellcat, after you bought your studio production, promotion, then you just spent it over just to, just to mess around and chill back. Now you got $69,000, okay? Which is cool, all right? You ain't spend it all. Hey, you sold 600,000. That's more than half a meal. That's pretty good. You did good, bro. Now, what we got to highlight is this 15% right here, okay? We got to highlight this 15%. You get 15% of 600,000, okay? I'm going to hide this right here because I'm not about to hurt nobody's feelings, all right? You end up making 90,000 off of that album. That 90,000 goes towards the 300,000 that you owe those people, okay? <laughs> um, so if we add 69,000 and 90,000, you end up with $159,000 total paid off towards that advance right there, okay? Which means you have 141,000 left to pay off. So what happens after that, my fool, let me go ahead and jump in front. Now, I'm gonna stop myself right there. I just want you to be mindful, okay? When you made that 90,000, when you generated that 90,000 and it went towards that 300K, and made 510,000 off you. So that's 85% of this good old thrashing, this good old 600K. You reach this point, it's album time again, okay? Because in the back of your mind, you thinking, well, I'm just about to go ahead and pay that 300K off. Let me make another album so I can crack sales and then boom, right? But that's not how it works, my friend. I'm gonna give you another 300K. How would you like that? 
300K plus 141, if I do the math correctly in my head, 300K plus 141 is $441,000. So now you are $441,000 in the hole. If they can give you 300K, they can give you 300K. Always keep your artist in debt. If, if your artist clears the debt, you lose the artist. I'm pretty sure we already seen a couple rappers hurry up and rush a couple albums out of there because they trying to get out of that deal. That still doesn't clear the debt. And that's where the problem is. They'll get cars, they'll get jewelry, they'll get all these things that really don't mean nothing, but by that point you realize that you just got bamboozled. I, I want people to be mindful of what's really going on when it comes to the business and the industry. Don't necessarily want to dive into these muddy waters like that. I want y'all to be smart, I want you to be wise. If, if you're planning on diving into that music industry, I'm just hoping that you just put these kind of things in a perspective. That's 300K. Um, another thing I want to throw in there, the more that they give you as far as the advance, that'll be the more that they invest in promotion, studio, production, uh, even material things that you don't even want. They'll get that in order to knock this uh, number down. And that way they'll be forced to give you another lump sum of uh, loans. A lot of people want to be big performers. They don't care about the dollar. Uh, and that's cool, but just remember, okay, if you in that hole, you in that hole. Uh, it was some good lyrics, a uh, little Boosie had said. He said, uh, we was living in the red, living in the red, meaning we ain't got it like we said. It's just living in the red. Look, let me know what y'all think in the comments, though. Y'all y'all part of the Mac family. Let's chop it up about that business. You feel me? Like, subscribe, comment, ring, ring the notification bell. Y'all know what's going on. You feel me? Um, and that's the business in the industry. Y'all be good.